Hello, everyone, and welcome to English Pod. My name is Marco. My name is Catherine, and today we're talking a little bit about, well, kind of girly things. That's right. We've talked about guys' shoes, women's shoes. So now we're going to talk about another aspect of women's、uh, accessories. We're going to talk about makeup. Okay, so we're wearing makeup today, or actually, we're buying makeup at the store. I never even knew there were so many kinds of makeup, so we're going to learn all about these in today's dialogue. I'm hungry. Let's go grab a bite to eat. Yeah, me too. Oh, can we stop at the shop really fast? I lost my makeup bag at the airport and I want to pick up a few things. Will you take long? No, five minutes, I promise. Come on, we've been here for almost an hour. I thought you said you were only going to get a few things. How long does it take you to pick out a lipstick and some nail polish? Are you crazy? You have no idea what you're talking about. Just for my eyes, I have to get eyeliner, an eyelash curler, eyeshadow, an eyebrow pencil, and mascara. Then I need to get foundation, liquid foundation. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you nuts? How much is all this going to cost? I'm looking at the price of each one of these little things, and it's outrageous. This is basically a crayon. What about you? You spend as much money or more on your razors, aftershave, cologne, and gel. Not to mention how much you spend on clothes and. Fine, get the stupid $30 crayon. All right, we're back. So obviously, we're getting a lot of things、uh, for this girl, a lot of、uh, makeup. So、uh, I think there are a couple of things that we may not know about. So let's take a look at them now on、uh, Language Takeaway. Language Takeaway. So the first thing we're talking about today is a basic. Most women carry this around in their purses.、Uh, it's called lipstick. That's right. And、uh, as you said, this is a pretty basic thing.、Uh, it's the kind of like paint that you put on your lips. And it's called a lipstick because it, it looks like a little stick. Right. And you turn it with your fingers and it comes up. And then you turn it again and it goes down, basically keeping it from touching all of the things in your purse. That's right. So lipstick. And、uh, well, apart from this, we also have nail polish. And、uh, this is also very popular with the ladies when you paint your nails a certain color. That's right. So, polish is basically anything that makes something shiny.、Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's something that you add to surfaces. So, you could add polish to wood on a table. But in this case, we're putting it on our nails that is, fingernails or toenails. So, it's nail polish. All right. Very good. And now we're getting into the specific things a lot of makeup that women use on their eyes. So, for example, the first thing she said,、uh, she needs to get an eyeliner. Okay, so eyeliner、uh, is basically a pencil. This is what the guy is making fun of her about. He says it's, a, it's just a pencil or a crayon for your、mm -hmm. eye. And so basically, you use it to draw a line on the top or the bottom of your eye, your eyelid. Okay, so yeah, it kind of looks like a marker and、uh, it comes, I think, black in different colors. And then you paint little lines around your eyes to make them more pronounced.、Mm -hmm. So it's called an eyeliner. Okay, and now we have an eyelash curler. And also, I think this is very important for the ladies. Yeah, well, not everyone uses this. It's a little bit of a scary instrument. It looks like it might pop your eye out.、Uh, it's, uh, it's something you use on your eyelashes. So those are the hairs that come off of your eye. And basically,、um, basically, You use this to make them curly or to make them seem a bit longer and prettier. So, an eyelash curler is something that it's like a almost like a, a press or something for your eyelashes. Okay, very good. And、uh, well, now that we've got that covered, we move on to eyeshadow. And I think this goes on your eyelid, right? That's right. Some people make it go further, they put it on their face above their eyelid, but that's a little bit crazy.、Hmm. I think eyeshadow generally goes, like you said, on your eyelid, and it, it can be in many different colors. So blue, pink, red, whatever. People sometimes go crazy with eyeshadow. Okay. And now, what about an eyebrow pencil? This is basically a pencil for、uh, filling in or for coloring your eyebrows. Sometimes people like to make their eyebrows look darker or thicker, and so they use this pencil.、Uh, it's usually brown or black, and they use it on their eyebrows. So we've picked up a, a lot of、uh, vocab here related to your eye. For example, an eyelash, your eyelid. Now we're talking about the eyebrows, which are the hairs on top, more or less、uh, around your forehead.、Mm -hmm. And now we also have another type of makeup called mascara. 
This is another basic. So like we said earlier, lipstick is something you almost always find in a woman's purse. Well, mascara is another one of those things. Almost everybody wears mascara. Uh, this is kind of like a brush for your eyelashes, and it paints them a different color. So most women wear black or brown, and it makes your eyelashes look really long. Oh, okay. Very good. So this is kind of like paint for your eyelashes. Mm -hmm. And uh, now moving away from your eyelashes, we're going to have... We're buying also some foundation and liquid foundation. Okay, so foundation is just a kind of base for your face. So foundation, like a building, is the, is the very bottom. Well, in this case, it's something that you put on your cheeks, um, on your face in general, on your forehead, to kind of smooth your skin out and make it look all the same color or the same, um, the same texture. And so foundation can be, like, uh, like we see here, either a powder, which is kind of like a, a dry substance or you can use liquid foundation which is like it says liquid it's almost like a thick cream all right so foundation is uh, as you said i guess you just want to make your skin uh, look the same color the same texture because obviously not everyone's skin is perfect we mm -hmm. all have some spots maybe or some uh, different color on our face you say we like you wear foundation too do you wear makeup marco well i mean we as people because uh -huh. you know all right, no, 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 none of this makeup for me, although I have used an eyelash curler once. That's scary. Well, my friends uh, dared me to, so okay. And whatever. you loved it. Of course. Now I use it all the time. No, no. Um, but what I do use is now things related to guys. So, for example, uh, the girlfriend was saying, well, you buy razors and aftershave. So what are these things? Well, razors aren't just a guy thing. Everyone can have a razor. It's basically a blade, like a very sharp piece of metal mm -hmm. that you use to cut hair. So the hair on your legs, the hair on your face. These are these are things that you cut with a razor. And uh, men use razors to shave their faces, shave their chins or above their lip. All right. And well, actually, after we shave uh, our, our beard, we put on a little bit of aftershave, which is basically kind of like alcohol that smells really nice. That's right, because shaving can actually hurt your skin or the, the hairs under your skin can become really itchy or irritated. Mm -hmm. And so aftershave helps make everything Everything feel better. Okay. And uh, well, in, sometimes we also use a little bit of cologne to smell nice. So women usually wear perfume, which is, uh, you know, all the perfumes like CK and uh, Ugo Boss and all that stuff, as well as for guys, it's usually called cologne. Okay, that's right. It's an important difference there because we don't say perfume for guys and we don't say cologne for girls. Mm -hmm. So women wear perfume, like you said, but men wear cologne. And this word is very funny looking. It ends with, uh, it, it's spelled C-O-L-O-G-N-E. So you don't really say the G. It's not cologna. Right. It's cologne. And cologne. it's something that you put on your neck or your face to smell really good if you're a man. Exactly. And uh, finally, if you have long hair or maybe you have very spiky hair like I do, you need to wear a little bit of gel to, to kind of give your, your head a little bit of shape. That's right. So gel is a, actually the name of a kind of substance. It's not liquid, but it's not hard either. Mm -hmm. And it's basically thick like paste that mm -hmm. you put in your hair to keep it in one place. <laughs> yeah, it, it makes your hair become a little bit hard or it keeps your hairstyle in for a long time. That's basically. right. All right. So a lot of vocab here, a lot of things that we've picked up. Why don't we go back, review all this great vocab on our dialogue for today. I'm hungry. Let's go grab a bite to eat. Yeah, me too. Oh, can we stop at the shop really fast? I lost my makeup bag at the airport and I want to pick up a few things. Will you take long? No, five minutes. I promise. Come on, we've been here for almost an hour. I thought you said you were only going to get a few things. How long does it take you to pick out a lipstick and some nail polish? Are you crazy? You have no idea what you're talking about. Just for my eyes, I have to get eyeliner, an eyelash curler, eyeshadow, an eyebrow pencil, and mascara. Then I need to get foundation, liquid foundation. Whoa, 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 are you nuts? How much is all this going to cost? I'm looking at the price of each one of these little things and it's outrageous. This is basically a crayon. What about you? You spend as much money or more on your razors, aftershave, cologne, and gel. Not to mention how much you spend on clothes and... Fine, get the stupid $30 crayon. 
All right, we're back. So now we're going to take a look at three short phrases that we've picked out for you on Fluency Builder. Fluency Builder. So this first phrase is something that we always, almost always say with our friends or family when we're hungry, we're shopping, some, you know, so, but sometimes you're outside and you just really want to eat. You say, hey, let's grab a bite to eat. That's right. So this is a very natural, colloquial way of saying, let's go get something to eat or let's go eat something. So it could be small. It could be a snack like an ice cream, but it can also be dinner. So, hey, do you want to go grab a bite to eat sometime? That mm -hmm. means, hey, you want to go have lunch or dinner sometime? Very good. So the phrase is grab a bite or go grab a bite to eat. So a bite can be a noun, like a thing, like a piece of food that you eat, but it can also be a verb to bite, like, you know, I, the dog bites the man mm -hmm. and so you have to be careful with this one in, in this case it's a noun okay very good and uh well she wanted to first go to the store and she said i want to pick up a few things well usually when you pick something up you take it from a table or from the ground mm -hmm. but in this case it means to buy something because you can't just pick something up in a store and then walk away you have to pay for it right so for example you can say uh when you come home can you pick up a carton of milk so that means, can you buy some milk on your way home? It doesn't mean, can you take some from someone else or steal some? Exactly. All right, so to pick something up, to buy, to go and get, but obviously you have to pay. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, he used this very interesting phrase when uh, she was getting all these uh, all these things for her. She, he said, whoa, 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 are you nuts? Okay, so nuts is the important word here. It means crazy or out of your mind that's right so it's another way of saying crazy so if you call someone nuts or you say he's nuts mm -hmm. that means yeah like don't talk to him he's nuts mm -hmm. or he always does really dangerous things he's nuts mm -hmm. so he's a little bit crazy so uh, it's an adjective as to describe someone that's a little bit crazy or a little bit uh, adventurous maybe but in this case he's not actually saying she's a crazy person he's saying listen this is so much stuff are you crazy or he's basically saying do you really want to do this this seems like a bad decision exactly so that's why he used the the phrase are you nuts mm -hmm. okay so a lot of great stuff there why don't we go back listen to our dialogue for the last time and we'll be back in a bit I'm hungry. Let's go grab a bite to eat. Yeah, me too. Oh, can we stop at the shop really fast? I lost my makeup bag at the airport, and I want to pick up a few things. Will you take long? No. Five minutes. I promise. Come on. We've been here for almost an hour. I thought you said you were only going to get a few things. How long does it take you to pick out a lipstick and some nail polish? Are you crazy? You have no idea what you're talking about. Just for my eyes, I have to get eyeliner, an eyelash curler, eyeshadow, an eyebrow pencil, and mascara. Then I need to get foundation, liquid foundation. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you nuts? How much is all this going to cost? I'm looking at the price of each one of these little things, and it's outrageous. This is basically a crayon. What about you? You spend as much money or more on your razors, aftershave, cologne, and gel. Not to mention how much you spend on clothes and... Fine, get the stupid $30 crayon. All right, so talking about makeup, uh, a lot of things here. Maybe I didn't mention a couple of things. I don't know. I, I, we... We took a look at the, at the most important things, I think, right? But uh, you also mentioned something, for example, uh, cover-up. There's something, uh, such makeup called cover-up. Yeah, so cover-up, it could be a couple of different things in English. For example, um, something that you, you wear to cover your body when you're at the beach. You know, you don't want to walk around mm -hmm. and everyone can see you in your bathing suit. But when we're talking about makeup, a cover-up cover is a thing that we use to hide blemishes or zits or pimples so you know when you get a really small red dot on your face mm -hmm. and you're embarrassed and it's ugly and you don't want anyone to see it well cover-up is a kind of makeup you use that looks like your skin color and you put it on top and you can't see the red anymore okay so uh, you cover up your pimple yeah or you use cover up it's a noun too okay and i've also seen that uh, well many girls don't really wear too much lipstick anymore nowadays they use this thing called lip gloss okay lip gloss 
Remember we were talking about polish earlier? Mm -hmm. Well, gloss is a similar word. It means something that、um, makes another thing shiny.、Mm -hmm. And so lipstick can be very dry, can be, can very flat, can be very flat.、Mm -hmm. But lip gloss is something that makes things look wet, makes things look shiny. Okay. And actually, one last thing before, when we talked about gel,、um, I guess guys use gel, but women use this thing called mousse. Or they could use gel too.、Yeah. I don't think it's gender specific, but a lot of people use mousse. I know some men who use mousse as well.、Yeah. <laughs> mousse is kind of like a foam. You know, it comes in a can and it goes. Yeah, and it, and it like inflates this white、uh, substance. Yeah, it looks, it looks like, I don't know. Like whipped cream. Like whipped cream, yeah. And you put it in your hair and it's very fluffy. And、uh, it's actually less strong. It's not like gel because. If you put it in your hair, your hair won't look hard.、Mm -hmm. But it will help shape your hair if you want to keep your hair in one place. A lot of things here.、Uh, I think、uh, in beauty and cosmetics, we have a lot of a lot of things. And probably we didn't even touch on half of the things that are out there. So、uh, if you have any questions or if you、uh, want to ask us anything at all about this lesson or anything else, you could always come to EnglishPod.com and leave your questions and comments there. So we'll see you at EnglishPod. And until next time. All right, bye. bye. The English Pod Audio Review. Listen to the meaning, then say the vocabulary word. To quickly get something to eat. To grab a bite. A cosmetic applied to thicken, lengthen, and darken the eyelashes. Mascara. A cosmetic coloring material applied to the eyelid. Eyeshadow. Passing reasonable bounds, intolerable or shocking. Outrageous. In a basic way, fundamentally or essentially. Basically. Let's try that faster. A cosmetic coloring material applied to the eyelid. Eyeshadow. In a basic way, fundamentally or essentially. Basically, to quickly get something to eat. To grab a bite. A cosmetic applied to thicken, lengthen, and darken the eyelashes. Mascara. Passing reasonable bounds, intolerable or shocking. Outrageous. Now say the word and hear it in a sentence. To grab a bite. As soon as I got home from work, I grabbed a bite to eat, then went out again to pick up my kids. To grab a bite. Let's grab a quick bite at this rest stop, and then we're back on the road for another few hours. To grab a bite. I really need to grab a bite to eat soon, or else I'll pass out. Eyeshadow. I love wearing eyeshadow in bold colors, but I have to be careful not to look like a clown. Eyeshadow. She applied a light eyeshadow to her lid and a darker eyeshadow to her crease. Eyeshadow. Which shade of eyeshadow should I wear tonight? Mascara. Many women say that the one makeup item they could not live without is mascara. Mascara. First, curl your lashes with an eyelash curler. And then apply some mascara to your eyelashes. Mascara. Be sure to wear waterproof mascara on the day of your wedding. Outrageous. The prices in this store are outrageous. 
outrageous. I find it outrageous that he would even suggest I was involved in the scandal. Outrageous. Her demands were so outrageous that I laughed in her face. Basically. Basically, she's saying that we shouldn't buy from this company because they mistreat their workers. Basically. This is basically a copy of the other computer program we were using, just easier to operate. Basically. These restaurants all serve basically the same type of food.